Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from TV Maestro. My name is Praveen and today I'm going to show you how to exclude an object in TV Maestro source control application. So without any ado, let's jump right into it. So I'm using a sandbox project and the database connected to it is SCADBM. It has two tables, employee and inventory. Now we go back to a source control application. We can see that there are two tables that we can commit to the source control. One is employee and one is inventory. And now I decide that I don't want to commit employee. I just want to commit inventory. So I can do this. I can just select the inventory object and put a commit message and commit the changes. The other option is I can go ahead to the exclude tab, right, by clicking on the gear icon. And I can mention the objects that I want to exclude while committing to the source control. You can choose any objects from the list. In my case, it's table and the object name is employee. Once I mention those information, I'm going to click on add to list. And now you can see that the table employee is added to the list. If you want to exclude an object of a specific type, all the objects of a specific type, choose the object type and check the all objects box and add that to the list. Now, when I go back to my commit tab, I no longer see the employee table. I just have the inventory table on the list. So I'm going to select that, add a commit message, and going to commit the change. After committing, I'll go to the push tab, check the commits, push the changes to the source control. I can move to the history tab to check if the commit was successful. And now I decide that, let's say, I want to remove the exclusion of employee object. I can do that as well. You can click on the gear icon again to go to the exclude tab, select the exclusion and click on delete selected. So that's going to remove the exclusion and now you will be able to see the employee object in the commit section. Now I can commit and push the employee table to source control. So let's say if you have a table that starts with the same word or the same letter. So in my case, let's say it's test, test new and test new too. So what I can do is I can click on the gear icon, select the object type as table, and the, in the object name I can provide it as des star. And what this would do is any table that starts with the word des is going to get excluded. So I add it to the exclude tab, and when I go back to the commit, I no longer see the tables in the list. If you again want to see the tables, just remove the exclude objects and you will be able to see the tables again. If you would like to see a demo for our source control tool or the CICD tool for databases, feel free to contact us. I hope the video was helpful. Thank you so much.